morning all happy tuesday morning we are going to be here on the solely rested youtube channel live every tuesday morning it's going to be hopefully 10 a.m eastern time every morning this morning we're a little off because i had an exciting call that took me way over time from what i expected but i can't even tell you about the call let's see i could tell you i was talking to layman's um, and I can tell you that they're working on a prototype of something really exciting that I'm hoping we have great success with and I'll be able to share it with you, oh, maybe this summer or next fall, death before next sugar season. So I can't wait. I hope it works well. I'm really excited about it. Anyway, so that was a great call. That would like have me postpone though. So today we are making honey butter here in my kitchen. I, first of all, you know what? Let me show you um what has been going on with our hives we had um unfortunately some difficulties some sadness what the heck is my hair doing this morning <laughs> we had um a hive die last week we discovered it when we went to feed them and very sad very disappointed we're down to one hive out of the three that we started with last fall but the excitement was that there was actually a lot of honey in those hives. We took a whole box worth and gave it to the remaining hives. We have hopefully plenty of food to get them through the winter without any problems. But what was left, we harvested and we wound up with still eight quarts of honey after giving away one huge heavy box to the other hives. So there's our loot and that's missing some. We gave a jar away and we have a jar in the kitchen so crazy but very exciting so in honor of that i am making some honey butter i sat my butter here over the stove to get it nice and warm so it was room temperature when we went to do this. by the way in case the butter looks a little funny to you yes it is our homemade butter and it is not the beautiful um got to do something with this because this is driving me crazy it is not the beautiful, perfect stick that you'll find when you buy it at the supermarket. Um, I make it from our cow's milk. Simple, easy thing. In fact, I have to do a live about that one time. Um, we're left with buttermilk that I use for pancakes and other good things. And of course the butter. I just, as you can see, I just hand mold it to make it kind of the right size to fit in our butter dish that we keep out on the counter. I wrap it, in, wrap it up and put it in a Ziploc bag in the freezer and then we grab one out of the freezer whenever we need more butter. So that's what we're gonna start with. I'm only gonna half this recipe because, actually I have not, look at this, I'm making a mess. I have not um, made this before. I have made maple honey, you know I've made that. In fact, that recipe is in Sweet Maple, which is coming out fall 2019, yay, can't wait. So the recipe for syrup butter is in there. Let me get a towel. Can I reach it from here? I can, um, but I have not tried it with honey, but now that we have our own honey that we've sourced here on the homestead, I am eager to try some honey butter. Um, you know what? I didn't grab my jar of honey. Hold on one second, because that's pretty important. You have honey in your honey butter. Uh, okay. So it's a simple recipe. It's one to one to one, and then two teaspoons. You need one cup of butter, one cup of honey, and one cup of powdered sugar and then two teaspoons of cinnamon. I'm gonna half it so I have one stick of butter. Of course, it's homemade, so it's very rough. I'm gonna put a little less of the other things, I think, because I think it was a little under a half a cup. So butter, powdered sugar. Oh, I already messed up. See, I haven't done this before, I told you, but I'm pretty sure I should have. I know with the syrup honey, I mean syrup butter, syrup honey. With the syrup butter, you should mix up the butter first. So I wonder, you know what, let me see if I can pour that out get some of that sugar out of there. The butter was nice and soft, so we're probably fine, but I should have mixed up the butter just a little bit before adding the others, just to get it nice and soft and gooey before you add in the rest. And this is not the food processor I usually use, but the other one that I love is a really big one, so this is not a big enough recipe to use my giant food processor. So now that I got my butter nice and creamy, I'm going to add in that powdered sugar again. Let's see if Michelle can do this without making a giant mess. I'm really an expert at making a mess in the kitchen. I mean, if anybody can be an expert at that, it is me. And I challenge you 
to do a finer job than I do. I challenge you. Let me know. Send me a picture of your kitchen after the next thing you make. I bet you mine's worse. Okay. Nope. I'm going to put my honey too. So I want half a cup of the honey since I have a half a cup of the powdered sugar and a half a cup of butter. I think I'm just going to eyeball this because I really don't want to make a giant mess of wasted honey in my half cup measuring cup. See? Mess messes. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. I'm going to just show this to you before I mix it up. After I lick my fingers off. Oh my goodness. Deanna, a friend of mine in Florida, who is an amazing expert real beekeeper, unlike me who's just playing at it, she was telling me that, let's see, there you go. Isn't it gorgeous? The color, just gorgeous. She was asking what flowers the bees had sourced because the color was so gorgeous. I said, no, I don't know. We don't have enough. Oh, look at me with my sticky fingers. I'm having trouble propping you back up. So we don't have enough flowers. That's one goal this spring is I want to get a lot of great flowers planted for the bees for next summer. But I know one thing they loved was our sunflowers. And she said, wow, sunflower honey is amazing. So maybe that's why this is so crazy yummy because of the sunflowers. It is delicious. Okay, then you need your two teaspoons of cinnamon because I'm having it. I just put one, get our lid on and mix it up. There we go. grab a spatula because as you can probably see there I need to scrape down the sides. Remember when I haven't invented a food processor that you don't need to scrape down the sides. It doesn't seem too hard does it? Special little attachment that goes around and does that? I don't know. Maybe they haven't invented and I just don't know these things. So it's almost there. I'll show you again. Oops, almost there. Just needs everything incorporated well. And that simple, we are going to have amazing honey butter. Now I just need some homemade bread to put it on. Oh, and I have another honey jar sitting here because I wanted to tell you, my friend I was telling you about, Deanna in Florida, before we had our own honey, um, best place in the world to purchase honey. If you were looking for a source, you're always better to go locally if possible because honey is amazing the, the properties that it has to help with allergies if you're buying it locally. But I know a lot of people don't have that option. You just don't know a beekeeper. You don't know a source locally. Um, I highly recommend Bee Wild Honey. I'll put a link to them in the, in the comments. And this is their Tupelo Honey. This anywhere else. If you love Tupelo Honey, by the way, do you know there's like songs written about Tupelo Honey? It's that good. It's amazing. Um, you can only get that sourced from that area of the country. So if you're interested in trying out Tupelo Honey, I'll leave a link for that. But let me finish this. Mm. Wow. This is really good. Of course, you know, when you put that yummy sugar with butter, what, how could it not be amazingly good? Am I right? Amazing. We're having this tonight on our bread with dinner. There we go. Perfection. So, try it out. It's so simple. And then please leave a comment and let me know what you think. It's yummy and I think you're going to love it. Um, please subscribe to the channel. My hope is to be here every Tuesday morning live. Who knows what kind of messes I'll be making or what I'll be doing. But it should be fun every week. So I hope you can join me Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time here on the Solely Rested channel. Please subscribe so you'll get a notification. And have a fantastic day in your neck of the woods.